tonight, we're talking about dating after divorce. This is a pretty common topic and oddly pumped to talk about this topic because I think it used to have a really crappy stigma and now it's just like anything else. Somebody's been divorced or separated or maybe they're on their second, third marriage, whatever. The good news, last year was the first time in 50 years that this country had seen a decline in its divorce rate. And that's interesting. That's good news. That means less people are getting divorced, but it's still a large number. We're still looking at about 15% of the country at the very minimum is getting divorced at any given time. And so that's a lot. It's a large percentage of people who are either currently getting divorced or haven't made strides to start the second chapter in their life and really haven't taken the strides to give some strategies. Tonight, you're in the right place if you're divorced. And you're looking to date again, right? There's no shame in you being married for a long time. And uh, this is the first time you're getting back out there. It's scary. And it can feel goofy and embarrassing, especially if you're an adult and you know how to do most things at this point in your life. If you've got to get back out there and dating again, it can feel a little bit like training wheels on a bike. And nobody likes that. B, you're exhausted from other dating methods. Maybe you've been divorced or you've been separated and you've actually given this a whirl. <laughs> maybe you've gone out on dates. Maybe you've tried the apps. Maybe you've done the old-fashioned way. Maybe you called up the old boyfriend or girlfriend from however many years ago and gave that old wing around the rosy. But anyway, nonetheless, it didn't work for you. It sucks. You're just as lonely as you were before, and you're really ready to find this next chapter in your life, partner number two, really find this next stride in your life to go the long haul. Or C, maybe you're here because you are ready to find something real and you understand that you've tried these methods, it hasn't worked, you're exhausted, and a little embarrassed and frankly, you're ready to get some guidance. And so that's what we do here. Yay, which is fun. So if you're here, we'll give you tips for sure. At the end of today, I'll give you an activity on you can do if you're divorced and you're considering dating or you are dating or how you can measure where you're at. And the first activity you should do once divorced and ready to date again.